Diva back here? Hey. Yeah, what's up, man? What's going on? How are you doing? Pretty good yourself? Great, great. What's up? Yeah, so what is the topic? Uh, the English monarchy? There's a few things uh, There's a few things to unpack from there for everything I talked about. What do you, what do you, what do you call them about? What's up? So, like, uh, I, I'm kind of uh, focusing on that word monarchy. Okay. Do you... Does that, do you mean that the Queen Elizabeth is the ruler? Well, not actively the ruler. I mean, they have a prime minister over there. Um, but the fact that it's a symbol of their history and the culture over there, and it means a whole lot. And they're right. very powerful. So you describe it, though, no, that it's a monarchy. I'm just trying to get at that. Like, right. Because she's like a queen, the monarchy so. designates that there's a king or a queen in which this case there is one. Mm -hmm. However, as you know, the, the queen doesn't necessarily call all the shots. Yeah, yeah. And probably has never called any of them. Um, she's merely a face like most of the public uh, personnel. Okay. And, um, you know, I think it's hypocritical when you point your finger to other places and label those places anti-democratic you know, anti-people because they function under a monarchy when you yourself call yourself a monarch but it seems that that's the game plan that these people will be the last ones standing so they can show the world you know that they're the best you know what i'm saying no i'm trying i'm trying to understand what you're saying like um who well like for example rob had a guy on there talking about putin uh, I don't have no connection with Putin. I don't really don't know much about him. Okay. But yeah, I do hear what I hear from you know the, the traditional communication channels, BBC for example, speaking about him all the time as being the problem, you know, and, and, and clearly kind of painting him out to be like Hitler. And again, that's somebody else I have only one knowledge of, uh, you know, from from upbringing. However, um, it is clearly propaganda. It doesn't mean that these people are. Okay, let me let me just stop. Let me just stop you there, and I'm, yeah. I'm going to let you finish. Um, because on, on one breath, you talk about you just highlight the fact that you know nothing about, which means you haven't done the research and you haven't chosen to do the research. That's not true. Oh, what well, you just That's said. I'm, I'm just I'm just going by what you said. Okay, let me, no, let me, let me, let me I, I actually look at I didn't know anything about it. Okay, so you, you do. You're using the wrong, wrong words, first of all. I said I only have one side, because that's all we hear. We only get one side. It don't matter if you go to the internet, Nova. Mm -hmm. It don't matter if you're on the independent, you know, outlet. You're still getting the same narrative that's that not. benefits the same people. And that's obvious. That's not always true. Now, if you but it choose... Might be always true, Nola, but it's true in most circumstances. If you now, choose... Now, the tactic is to distance yourself from your friends. That way, you look to be an opponent of those that you're actually working with. You uh, see? Okay, I don't want you to... So I, ju I, don't want you to I don't want you to bear off too far. I want yeah, you to like stay. Bro, I'm not bearing off too far. Okay. I'm keeping it right here in the middle. Okay. I'm keeping it balanced. So you see, because most of what we get is extreme. We don't get the balanced, full. Uh, I think you try to get it here. Sure. We we just get what the capital pays for. You got that, Nola. You're smart enough to know that. So when you're talking about the uh, the, the Church of England and you're calling them a monarchy, I'm simply saying that if they call themselves a monarchy and they allow other people to call themselves a monarchy, then they shouldn't have a problem with other people developing monarchies. And, and, and they do. They do. They, they, there are monarchies all over the world. You know that, right? Like, there, there's there a monarchy are, in there Africa. Are. There, there's monarchy in Africa. There's monarchy in Europe and Europe, France. But anyway, that's that's not the point. The point is, you I'm trying to... the drift, though, Nola. You, you mentioned Vladimir Putin. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Levi. Hold on. It's called democracy. Hold on, Levi. And you have to get rid of these monarchies. I'll let you speak, man, but I'm just saying. Okay, now, you know, now you... You're trying to make me sound like I'm not making any sense here. I'm making perfect sense. Okay. And you know I'll come to the studio any time. 
and, and lay it out for you. Okay. Um, no, but the so you're not willing to have a conversation because I was willing to have a conversation with you, and I have other callers. Have a but, conversation? But, I have a conversation with you outside of the studio, oh on camera. Okay. And we can talk as long as you would like. No. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. I've had enough. I'm for real, man. Thank you very much, Levi. <laughs> Now I had, now you forced me to hang up on you. That's just crazy. Like I, I wanted to break down your points because on in one breath. Hey, let's go to um, Carlos from Tampa. Dr. Carlos, welcome to the show. Yes, sir. Hey, I was listening to the conversation. Look, Sweden is a monarchy. <laughs> uh, Sweden, they are doing one million billion times better than the U.S. Their, their social services and their healthcare system and their education system is one million times better than the U.S. Their, you know, GDP is a lot lower. U.S. GDP is $19 trillion is the biggest in the world, and what the people are getting, nothing. The, uh, this is what I believe. That's why you, you get this kind of president like that. That's why you get George Bush, because the Constitution still needs to be amended. You know, the, the, this piece of paper was written almost 300 years ago. So, you know, was built based on two-party system. And the two-party system, it won't do it because the multinational or multi-international companies and filter into the system. So these people, the president, these people in the Congress and the Senate, they don't represent us as the people. They represent the companies that they are given millions of dollars you know, for, uh, to be elected. And this is the big issue, and that's why we need a third party, the fourth party, the fifth party, just like the rest of the world. This is a, to me, there is no difference between a Republican and Democrat. It's one party system, basically. And no one else out of this party can make it. So therefore, the Constitution has to be amended, sir. Well, the problem is the people who are going to be responsible for amending the Constitution are the people who are actually corrupt. And the only way to get them out of there is to have a lot of money. It seems like it. But hopefully we'll see what happens uh, in November. And are you optimistic about a, a, a big shift this November? No, no, no. It, it won't matter to me. Truth no. Uh, as I said, to me it's one party system, and it's besides even education. All the media here are owned by corporations, and it's lack of knowledge, lack of education. The least people that we know anything about anything are the people of the United States of America. And, I'm, and I will say it exactly as you is. We are the least people on this earth. Someone from Chad, whatever, knows a lot better than someone else who was born Ooh, in Oh, Carlos, you just struck a nerve. Truth. Carlos, you struck a nerve there. You struck a nerve there because, I mean, like, I've heard so many people say that before. And I remember uh -huh. before before I lived, um, be, before I moved permanently to the United States I come and the news the world news was a little different and more vast and the fact that you know what a lot of the news we get here is so much uh, compact and it, 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 it focused on just one item issues and it is actually true you actually true when it comes you're right when it comes to that you, you're right because uh, the news you get when you're outside of the country is totally different you get a vast array of news from all over the world but like sometimes and that's one of the reasons why like i i like this platform over here and when people like uh uh levi call and so i'm like okay you know what wait you like democracy now you know you get a whole bunch of different news out there you you go wmnf i mean what you hear from rob is not what you hear from me or john gilmore or sean canan or anybody else you know so it's, it's a little totally different you just gotta pick and choose what but you're absolutely right i agree with you carlos um well, well just i'm sure there is a lot of callers that are waiting but Vic, the news that we hear it, here in the U.S., everything has, uh, you know, it's ideology, just like you're listening to, you know, uh, to Fox News, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, the, 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 the indictment the other day, I think, uh, I think it was last week, and, um, and I, was, I was studying um, the, the, the unrest in the, in the Middle East and stuff, in Israel and Palestine and stuff like that, and Gaza. Um, and at the same time, I was looking at the headlines. I was looking at the tweets of the headlines from CNN. Mm -hmm. 
and all I saw was uh, Palestinian protesters downed a drone that was throwing tear gas, tear gas at Palestinians. And I thought, really? Out of everything that's happening over there, that's what you highlighted? That's okay, seriously, there's something wrong with that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just close with this, okay? Let's some other color. To me, there is no difference between someone who fake the presidency in the third world, you know, when they fake the result, and someone who get, you know, doesn't know what's going on, and they go ahead and they, they vote against themselves, like now we have this president. There is no difference between the third world fake system, and this is fake because these people, they, base, they, they made their mind and they vote based on unfounded ideas. So the result or the conclusion are the same between the third world and the United States of America. Great. And thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate you. Appreciate your support. Um, yeah, I think uh, there is a there is a traffic news right here on Twitter. Uh, the Tampa Police Department writes that Bayshore Boulevard is closed northbound between Wallcraft and Bayview as officers investigate a serious accident. So please find alternative routes. Uh, the Tampa Police Department writes that Bayshore Boulevard is closed northbound between Wallcraft and Bayview as officers investigate a serious accident. Please find alternative routes. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the phone lines, right? Let's go to Mike from Bradenton. Mike, good afternoon, Mike. Welcome to the show, Mike. Oh, I love your show, sir. So Thank you, uh, sir. Thank you, sir. Bring it in. What's up? Yeah, I, just want, I wanted to make two quick comments, okay? Yes. Levi, you can't call up and say, I know nothing about Vladimir Putin, but here's my opinion. I mean, the information's out there, and right. I have a unique perspective because my brother has lived in Moscow for 20 years right. as a professor, and he's told me stories, if anything, the crimes of Vladimir Putin and how evil and nasty he really is is way underreported. We have a, a much nicer view of him than he actually is, but uh, it's just it's ludicrous to, um, to say those two things in the same sentence. And, and to the gentleman who just called, you know, I'm not sure that more parties is the answer. Uh, I think the problem with the United States right now is that the citizens aren't doing their jobs, okay? The last presidential election, almost 40% of the registered voters didn't even bother to vote. You know, this is not a, um, a spectator sport. And you can't tell me that the parties are the same. That's not true. I mean, would you rather have a, a fairly honorable human being like Barack Obama as your leader, or would you rather have this charlatan uh, crime boss mopped up sort of scam artist that's in there now. I, I don't think it's a matter of changing the Constitution. I think it's a matter of the American people getting off their butts and getting active in politics again, you know? Right, absolutely. I agree with you. Linda from St. Pete. Good afternoon, Linda. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. I love your show as usual. It's always interesting. Thank you, Linda. Try to mix Thank it up a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, and um, I wanted to comment on uh, the national handbook and uh, you know, the other forms of indoctrination that have been used in this country. Right. Um, I look at it like this. If they're going to force you, force you in whatever way by making a law or making a rule or, you know, force people to sing the anthem. I, I ask you one thing. I mean, first of all, wouldn't you have to have something to be proud of? Uh, there is nothing about this country anymore. Oh, I, Linda, uh, don't do that. Don't do I'm that. I understand, I understand your frustration, Linda. I understand no, your no, frustration. No, no, you can't. Probably. Okay. Because I'm a 68 year old woman, okay. and I've been through hell of that. And I know when things are wrong, they're wrong. There's nothing to celebrate. There's nothing to celebrate. We have a disgusting president. We have a disgusting uh, war mongering uh, thing going on all over the world. And nobody is addressing that. All we do is try to force people to be, you know, real patriotic and you really cannot force people because we don't think that way anymore you know we're not convinced there's no election that's going to change this it's criminal what has been going on the united states of america is a fraud plain and simple 
just can't understand how um, something like this could go on in what is supposedly a free country. It's not. There's nothing free about it. I think. I think. I think the fact is. Um. I mean, and I, I do. Uh, I do empathize uh, your frustration and honestly there are a lot of people that feel the same way you do and I do understand where that frustration is coming from but it's something I always believe in uh, something I always believe in you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater that is how I'm doing the bathwater is oh and, my goodness this baby's dead already <laughs> oh my goodness Linda don't say what, that Proud of, so make us proud.